All right, well, that's interesting. I've, uh, I've been wanting to test some, some aftermarket suspension for quite a while now, and we've uh, had a couple of days and a really good test track with a whole lot of different, um, different type of terrain to do that, and it's been a really, really interesting experience for me. Um, you know, intentionally hitting the same bump with different suspension to get a feel for what it's doing, intentionally going on wrong lines to make things hard to see how the thing, uh, if it's more or less inclined to get knocked off line. So, but a bit of cut to the chase. So this um, WP Explore Pro stuff, well, first of all, I think what I will say is you, you really notice, as soon as you get on and just ride off, you notice it's different. Um, you know, it's, it feels firmer, it sits taller um, in, the, in the front end. That's the most obvious thing, just as you ride off. Um, I guess I'll get the obvious stuff out of the way first. You know, it's uh, it's a firmer fork spring. I think it's a 4.4 compared to a 4.2 in the in the standard bike, which has got a couple of rates softer this year. Um, there's a lot more to it, obviously, than that. So, you know, I always expected on the downhill braking that this fork would hold up, uh, handle the big hits better, and it does. It, it handles it. It's it's way more unflappable, and it feels like you got a, a lot more safety margin, I guess, um, which is great. So. The biggest thing for the fork to me is it encouraged me to uh, get aggressive and hit things way harder than I ordinarily would. I'm not babying the thing through gull gullies or G outs or big bumps that I see coming. Um, and not only physically does it put less jarring through your hands, it doesn't affect you mentally. You know when you have one of those big hits and it's just like, oh, when you hear it and it puts you off your game and for, for quite a while. So, But it wasn't just that brand downhill braking stuff for me. I think because of the chassis sitting, you know, when you've got a fork that dives, you do that, then you let the brakes off into a corner, it does that, then it settles again, and you know, that compromises your front end traction going into a corner. So, on the faster corners where it's a bit loose, I could come into this and just set a line, and it would it would do it. So, that was really obvious. Uh, to me, it was less inclined to get knocked off line if you hit a bump mid corner. Um, so I think they're, they're probably the biggest stuff in, you know, did it give away anything in that slow bush section? Maybe a little bit because the, you know, the standard one is, uh, is soft, you know, the fork does sit down, it steers really tightly. I wouldn't say that's plusher, but it maybe just steers a little bit better because it, you know, sat down in, in the stroke, but there's not a lot in it. And I think for what this gives you on the jumps, the fast grass track sections, the sweepers, everywhere else on the track and every big bump and, and G out and set of rollers, um, you know, I think it's, it's obvious. Um, the shock trip into gear, I didn't feel as much. Um, definitely felt like I got a lot better traction um, going up some really skatey hills. Uh, probably the most obvious thing for me was on the in the fast braking up on some of these grass track sections where you're coming in skittery and um, and trying to get on the picks. It didn't have that chattery rear end. Um, so what I found, I was braking front and rear a lot harder into corners on this. So I had the bike on its ear more, and I just was confident to do it. So. Yeah, like I say, it's been a really good exercise. I'm super impressed with these things. You know, this is just sort of set up for our weight. It's not even, you know, I haven't even had the opportunity to put the other sort of uh, cone valves and springs and, you know, preload settings. So, you know, I'd love to do that one day with a, with a suspension tuner, one of the WP guys, you know, who really knows their stuff and, and uh, you know, see how much better you can get it again. So I was really excited to come out today and test this Explore Pro suspension. Like you grow up watching all your favorite riders ripping around running this stuff and you think, God, they're fast. Like the suspension looks like it works really well. So even before we took the bikes out to the track, it was interesting watching Andy do a static push, just sitting on the bike using his body weight, even just seeing how the different spring rates worked just standing there. So like the standard bike, you could compress it 20, 30 mil more than the Explore Pro. It worked the way you'd expect a better fork to work. It wouldn't bottom as hard. It had that initial compliance was a bit plusher. It didn't chatter as much. Everything just felt more refined. So when you'd hit a big hit, it wasn't like draining all your energy. It's still, you'd still feel it. It's not like you're on cloud nine or anything, but you'd still feel everything. But it was just a lot more refined and a lot less fatiguing on the body. I reckon I could go out and do one and a half laps to every lap I could on a standard bike, which was really interesting. I really noticed it on the start, how different it felt. I jumped on the Explore Pro and felt like the bars were higher just because it sat up in the stroke a little bit taller. So it took me a good half a lap to get used to it. I thought it was a bit weird at the start, but it wasn't until I went 
and jumped back on the standard bike, I realized how much better it was. But yeah, the biggest thing I noticed was compared to the standard suspension, it wasn't nearly as lively. The thing just tracked a lot straighter, it wasn't knifing under you, you weren't worrying about the rear wheel overtaking the front or losing the front anything like that you just you had a lot more time to set up and think about the corners and worry about the line you're going to take about it not pulling up for the corner and missing it so yeah overall it was really really impressive and would love to spend some more time on it So the standard suspension um, for me, um, you know, it was really good in cornering and and under load coming out of corners. You know, it just it felt like just a little bit probably underdone for me, um, and that's probably because the other guys, you know, they're running at 80 kilos and I'm a, on the pie eater. Um, but I would, I'd still like, I loved it. Like it was very plush and nimble. To, to scoot around the bush and then come out onto the grass track and still, you know, it's still hooking up and and, and working well over the, the juts and rocks and ruts and stuff and stuff of what we had out in the conditions today. Um, but then to have the opportunity to jump on to the, the identical bike um, with the Explore Pro, um, you could instantly, um, you know, tell the difference as soon as just, just even just taking off, like we've, it didn't like just, the bike just didn't relax, like it, it sort of stood up and um, you could instantly tell the first corner that um, that you've got something that's you know a bit of a wow factor, um, you know, just for a, you know a hacker um, like me to get on a bike like that with you know that kind of suspension setup, um, and it, it, it eliminated a lot of the knifing and, and jutting and um, even just the feedback when you when you're riding along. Um, with the different undulations and rocks and that coming around and it, it just seemed to soak everything up and you didn't get the feedback back into your wrists and your hands um, and you know a lot less arm pump to me. The most amazing thing about the, the Explore Pro is that it was set up for the other riders um, and for me to jump on it and for it to handle you know this pie eater right here um, you know is is unbelievable like to not have to change any spring rates not to have to tamper with any suspension settings i just jumped on the boys have jumped off the bike i've jumped straight on it and you know it's it's outperforming the the, the standard bike um you know even just doing you know general rides um you know i would spend the cash to to upgrade to the to the explore pro um because it's just it's just next level to sell this stuff but it, it is really really good. We had a 2020 dealer launch um, last year up at Cessnock for the KDMs and the Husqvarnas and we had uh, three bikes for the Pro Component suspension and the guys got to use it against the standard suspension and the feedback was really really positive. We also have uh, Daniel Milner and, and Chucky Sanders riding and, and winning world championships and AOR, AORCs on it and it's the same stuff that you can buy from, it, from your authorised WP dealer. Those guys have their suspension adjusted by a guy down in Victoria called Anthony from Choice Suspension. Um, he's one of our stronger dealers and, and sets them up really well. On today's ride, what I really liked about it was the inspired confidence in, in the riding. You come around a tree and there'd be some ruts on, um, some roots on angles, um, and you'd be hitting that and there was no deflection, it just soaked it up really nice. Um, boring up and down some of the big hills up here, uh, it tracked really nice. It didn't uh, shudder in the back end coming down the hills. Um, and some of the G-outs, you can, you can hit them more confidently knowing that's not gonna kick or carry on. Um, really, really good stuff, I like it.